Today we're focusing on just one of the steps to train your mind to think in English. This is not a video where I tell you how to do something. We're gonna actually do it together, the real training. We'll use flashcards practicing thinking in English from interesting photographs. An object will be highlighted, name it. If you don't know it, don't worry, we'll go over everything so you can learn new vocabulary and memorize it. Then watch the video again. You're gonna see the object, recall the word in English. You can do this anytime, anywhere, because you're not speaking out loud. Here's the first one we'll look at. You'll see something highlighted like this and think the name of what it is. You might have thought light or fluorescent light or light fixture. So you'll name a bunch of objects in your head. It will go sort of fast. If you don't know it, don't worry, we'll cover everything. After that, we'll come up with some adjectives and some verbs as well. Let's start. Now we'll give you 10 seconds to come up with as many adjectives as you can. If your mind goes to your own native language first, that's okay, but try right now to set the intention for your mind to think in English. Ready? Adjectives. There are so many you could have said. You could have gone with colors, blue, brown, green, gray. You could have said bright because of all of those lights. Maybe you said wet or slippery because of the floor. Or maybe you said empty because no one's there or deserted. That's another way to describe a place with no people. Or open to describe some of the machines, or closed to describe the others. Now I'll give you 10 seconds and have your mind go to verbs and action. There are no people in this scene. It's a still scene with no action currently. Think of action words that could happen here. Again, so many verbs your mind could have come up with. Wash, clothes. Load, the machine. Fold, laundry. We usually use the verb do with laundry. I have to do laundry tomorrow morning. The floor looks very wet. Maybe you thought mop or clean. I think I see a duster here. Maybe you said dust. Okay, let's go over the objects we saw. Washer door. When the door is on the front like this, it's called a front load washer. Floor. Table. Bench. Duster. Light. Button. Vent. Pipes. Window. Reflection. Latch. Platform. Poster. 
valve, screw, wheel, shelf. For this, you might have said number or placard. Some pretty basic vocabulary there, but also maybe a few advanced words that you didn't know, like placard. So that was our first photo. Let's continue. Look at a highlighted object. Think the word in English. Here's the photo. Any adjectives that come to your mind in 10 seconds? What adjectives did you think? I thought clean, new, expensive, luxury, British because I'm used to seeing this steering wheel on the left. Black, the color of the interior. German, for the car company. And now any verbs. Drive, that's a pretty obvious one. Maybe you thought sit. Buckle up. Shift, navigate, or steer. Let's go over the objects. Driver's seat, cushion, or maybe you said leather. Steering wheel, horn, gear shifter, emergency brake, gas gauge, Map, navigation, or GPS. Air vents. Window controls. Glove box or glove compartment. Control panel, or maybe you said buttons. Rear view mirror. Windshield. Odometer. Tachometer. Thermometer. Door handle or lever. Windshield wipers. Passenger seat. Emblem. Is your mind orienting towards English? Let's keep going. Here's the photo.
did you go to college? And if so, does this look familiar? Let's come up with some adjectives. Maybe you thought of the students and you thought focused, studious, or maybe bored. Or you thought about the space and you thought large, big, cavernous. Maybe you saw this chair and thought empty, or this hat and thought backwards. Or you saw the slides and thought difficult. Now, verbs. You could have said teaching, lecturing, note-taking, listening, learning, typing, to name a few. Let's go over the objects. The full space is called a lecture hall, podium, stage, notes, notebook, laptop, overhead projector, screens, or maybe you thought wall, image or projection, fire extinguishers, professor or lecturer, coffee or to-go cup, audience, students, or maybe you thought stadium style seating or tiered seating. Flip down desktops. Formulas. Office chair. Water bottle. Pencil case. Let's do another one. Here's the photo. seconds for adjectives. This one is full of colors, so maybe that's all you thought of when you were thinking about adjectives. This pattern in the back is called houndstooth. Or maybe you thought in shapes, circular, rectangular, cylindrical, or maybe you thought open. Now 10 seconds for verbs. There's no movement, no people here, so think of verbs that come to mind because of the objects. Maybe you thought of what you do with makeup, apply, put on touch up. If you touch up makeup, you're already wearing it, but it's been a few hours and you need to fix it just a bit, you touch it up. Or maybe you thought organize, sort. Let's go over the objects. Remember, you might have thought a different thought, a different word on something, or maybe you had a different opinion of what to call something. That really doesn't matter. What matters is the exercise of thinking in English, seeing an object, and naming it in English. Organizer. Tray. Palette. Case or pouch. Zipper. Eyeshadow. Blush. Powder or you could call this foundation. I think I'm not in any way a makeup guru.
Mascara. Canister. Heart. Lip gloss. Ooh, this is a fun photo. Let's start with naming objects. Now 10 seconds for verbs. I thought of a lot, jumping, swimming, starting, racing, competing, watching. Now 10 seconds for adjectives. If you're having a tough time with this, just let your mind identify one color. Red, yellow, blue. You could have said numbered, an adjective to describe things with numbers on them. Maybe you thought of the mood. It doesn't look like anyone is cheering, so maybe you said quiet or tense or competitive. You could have said wet, humid. Let's go over those objects. Swimmers, or maybe you said athletes, or competitors. Platforms. Audience. Judges. Pool. Goggles. Swim caps. Uniforms. Lanes, lane dividers, arms, hands, feet, backs, knees, barrette, laundry bin. This is a great way to not only start thinking more in English, but also to build your vocabulary. Keep your learning going now with this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on. Also, check out my online courses that focus on listening comprehension and spoken English skills at rachelsenglishacademy.com. That's it, and thanks so much for using Rachel's English.